So today we are going to concentrate on painting or colouring the daffodils themselves. So I'm only going to be using the yellow today and I have got yellow on one plate and white on the other. And I've got my yellow and orange pens you could use or yellow and orange crayons. I'm going to show you how to paint. Dip your brush in, dry it off a little, nice fine point. I'm going to start with the pale colour, the white, and I'm going to put a little bit of white in my daffodil here. So I'm going to have white near the centre. Again, I'm just using the white. Start with your pale colour. And I'm just painting some white. And I know this will be tricky for you to see. But if you watch, oh, careful near the line. I'm going to do the same. I'm thinking, where am I going to have white? And I'm going to paint all the white at the one time. I might have that whole one white. Because when the whole picture's done, the white will stand out. And then a little bit of white on this one too. I'm choosing all the areas for white at the one time. Take care. Use your paintbrush like you hold. Use your pencil. Hold it like that. Keeping it clean. A little bit on there. I think that's all I'm going to use for the white. Oh, I tell you, I'm going to put a little bit of white in that centre there because that will stand out with the yellow around it. Put your brush in the water. Make sure it's nice and clean. You can always check it on your piece of kitchen roll or a bit of newspaper. And then I'm going to take some of the yellow. This is a lovely bright yellow. And... I'm going to paint away from the white to snout because if I paint wet paint near wet paint, it would run together. And this is a lovely bright yellow. You could use orange, a wee bit of orange as well. I don't have any orange paint today, but if you've got orange at home, you could use that as well. That's looking nice and bright. And I'm going to go um, to this one over here. I've got nothing on it and I'm going to paint some of the bright yellow on that one and then up to this one here and paint that there. Don't worry if you go over the edge like I've done there because you'll be painting that and it will all mix together and it will look nice. I'm going to put some more yellow on my brush keeping my nice fine point Try not to rush, going round, this bit's dry here. You can always leave it for a, for a couple of minutes and come back to it if you want each piece to be dry before you paint, to be absolutely sure. And again, you can see, boys and girls, I'm doing all the bright yellow at the same time. And I go there. Holding my brush like my pencil, I'm going up to this one here. Okay. Um, right, boys and girls, I'm going to keep painting my bright yellow on this daffodil. Why don't you start painting or colouring your daffodil now? here now if you remember I put a bit of white in there so it's not going all the way down because it's got the white at the bottom 
And I might do the same with this one. Just a little bit at the edge and a little bit at the edge of that one. Not completely done it. And I'm going to put the bright yellow around my white. Remember, I put white in there. Okay. And then I might have a little bit of the bright yellow on the edge of this one. Just in there. Now, try and not let your uh, wrist, the side of your hand, go on top of your paint because you'll smudge it. Now, I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to do a little bit of colour mixing here. So take some of your white and lift it into a clear space. Start with your pale colour first. Then rinse your brush again. Make sure all the white is off. We don't want to waste any paint. A little bit of yellow. Start with a little bit. Now, I can't really see that too much, but you might want to use, you might make different shades and you could use any of them in your daffodil. A bit more yellow, get a little bit stronger. Mix it round. One thing to do when you're colour mixing, boys and girls, always make sure you've made enough of the colour you want because it can be quite hard to match up if you have to remake it. Now, that's nice. That's a nice pale yellow. Looks like some of the daffodils in my garden. And then I'm going to go to my painting. Now, if it's wet, go and do something else for five minutes and come back. Or give it a gentle blow. And then I remember on this one, I had the white. So I'm going to put that into the white like that. Brush that in. I'm going to go to this one here. And I've got white on this one. It's going all the way down there. And I've got some white on this one. Look, I'm holding and controlling my paintbrush. And all the time, I'm um, turning my paper. So keep turning your paper. Put your colour in. To look carefully to see where that white paint is. You can have it going in little lines like that. Oh, now don't worry if, like me, you get a little spill. It's fine. You could blot it up or you could just leave it. Nobody would notice. I'm making sure if I missed any part, I've missed the inside. So I'm going to very, very carefully go around that inside. Just take your time. And then I've got this flower to do here. You can see how the different Shades of yellow look nice together. And the white is now standing out. So I've got some of the pale one next to the darker one there. And paler one there too coming down. Let me put a bit of pale on there too. And then I've got this last one here. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to see if there's anything I've missed. Have I missed anything? I think I've missed the centre of this one. So I'm just going to fill that in. And I'm just checking that I'm happy. Put a little bit over the top. I'm happy with it all. That's all my yellow for today. So then I'm going to rinse my brush and I'll tidy up my yellow paint for today. Let my brush dry. And remember, always leave your brush flat. Don't leave it in the water because you'll damage the bristles on the end of the brush. And when I come back tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to paint your green stalks and stems.